It's you know the first time a mission of this size has ever happened um, between the Israelis and the Palestinians, and really this is kind of a culmination of what we do and what we're about. I know the situation. I know how broken is it. I know what, what's the other side feeling. I don't accuse them. I want to change this reality. And as a soldier of peace, I believe that my duty is in my field to try to really improve the situation of the two people. I think that uh, so much fear and manipulation of fear is happening between people. And uh, on the political level, there's not much hope now, but I think, you know, if you could give hearing aids to the uh, leaders, maybe they will listen better to their peoples. Treaties are signed by leaders, but peace is done among people. We are creating an atmosphere which hopefully will lead to peace among the peoples. The more people get involved, the more people care for each other, the less people hate each other. We believe that health could play a crucial role in building peace uh, among people and Starkey Hearing Foundation could play a very good role to help in building peace between Palestinian and Israeli. This uh, project, it's, it's bridge for peace. We have a cooperation from Americans and Israeli and Palestinian together working for this people. Some of the Israelis were worried about crossing the border and going to Tulkaim, which is a Palestinian uh, city. Uh, you can see around us the Palestinian uh, military authorities here. You saw a change in the first day with the guards where they were at the sides. They didn't interact with us. You couldn't take a picture. And you kind of saw that wall being broken down. By the third day, they were out there fitting with us. They were helping us. And now the elite Palestinian guards are, are, are going bop, 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 getting smiles out of these kids' faces. It's been really amazing. I was on the bus ride over with a girl my age, she's 26. She lives in Israel, and she said that uh, she's never actually seen what it's like over here. It was very special to me is that uh, there are really uh, some people coming from Israel here to help. And for me, it's something uh, first of my life I see it. And it really feels good like uh, some people care about us here. We are not alone in this. When you share love and care and dignity with other people, uh, you, can, you can really feel you are making a progress, you are making something in your life. Well, he's addressing me in Hebrew. You know? and, and he says that his great hope that we'll achieve peace. And he said even the Hebrew term, Baruch Hashem, with the help of God. We are creating a kind of microcosmos of what we would like the Middle East to be. Thank you, thank you. Yalla, thank you. Here we are at a place of supposed conflict, and we can create an island of understanding. We have to do more. We need to make the island of peace so large that it isn't just in the hearts and, and minds of a few people that we've touched, that it spreads. If we can't learn, to get along with each other, we won't survive. And tomorrow isn't a promise, it's an opportunity. We have to do something to make it happen.